What's going on, y'all? It's Gum Gum TCG here, back again with some more Red Purple Luffy content. I posted a video on Monday about this deck, talking about it, showing you a couple games, but uh, being the meta killer, I gotta show it showing off against some meta decks. So we're gonna queue up with a game against Sakazuki, Anel, and Purple Luffy today, just to show you what this deck can do against those threats, because we know that those are the top dogs right now, and I wanna show you that we can turn skip them, win the game, give them that Diable Jambe, really show them those blockers are nothing to work with, that life gain is nothing to work with, and that ramp is nothing to work with. Uh, I'm not going to go too in-depth about this. If you want to hear more about this leader and this deck list and my uh, choices and stuff like that, make sure to go check the video out that I dropped Monday. I'll post a link right above my head as well as in the description below. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into some games and see if we can't clean up a couple dubs. All right, y'all, we got a game queued up here with Sakazuki and we did win the dice roll. We are going to get to choose to go second. That's what we like to see. This hand's actually pretty good. We have two 2Ks, Nami, our kid and our Newgate. We just don't have a ramp tool, but I am going to keep it just because it, it's very strong to start off with. And if we do find our ramp tool, I think that will be set. So uh, with Let's see, we get two chances to draw one here. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to find our uh, lead performer disaster. That's what we really want to see. Well, there it is off the top. I'm just that good at the game, huh? So let's go ahead and go Nami here. I am going to take the Jambe over the 2K or the Jet Gatling, just because we need to have that against this deck when they play so many blockers late game. So let's go ahead and pass it over to this. Now, like I said, I've been having decent success with this leader against Sakazuki. Uh, they do like to try and wipe your board instead of just going for your leader. And uh, they're doing all this hand cycling, getting rid of certain cards and stuff. Uh, sometimes it hurts them more than they, they would like, like uh, Rob Lucci's and stuff. Uh, here he drew a great eruption, which is fine, but he's only attacking for five. It's a big misplay on his part. I am a 6K leader. Uh, that's something that a lot of people forget. And um, yeah, it definitely helps us out in certain matchups. Uh, when people don't account for it with their dawn i guess he had the extra dawn he just didn't attach it there let's go ahead and use our disaster to ramp one we'll put one on our leader and we're gonna get swinging in there for seven uh get two cards out of his hand or a card out of his life i'll take either honestly let's see what he decides to do here he'll take the life and uh, no trigger they really don't play too many triggers in this deck uh their best one is definitely great eruption to make me trash a card but uh, they do also have Ice Age, which KOs, I believe, a three or less. So he would have been able to get rid of that Nami. But not really too worried about letting Nami go or letting Nami stay. Here's a Borsalino. Like I said, uh, this is kind of what we're talking about. I mean, turn two, he's already dropping a blocker just to try and get on the defensive. He knows my leader's big. He knows it's going to be a problem for him. So he wants to start walling up. And that's totally okay with me. You know, next turn, we're going to be dropping Kid. We're going to be 7K leader. That's fine. We are going to defend, though. Uh, that's the name of the game with this deck we want to defend and not take these life for as long as we can so that's what we're gonna do he is gonna reduce that nami but he has no way to get it off the field so it's sticking around for a while it's not really a problem for him though it's not a problem for us either i mean this isn't really going to do much for us if we need it to attack we can but i imagine he's going to get rid of it next turn by playing a luchi trying to get rid of our kid or something i do see him trying to remove the kid from the field which is totally in, it's going to be totally fine if he does do that i'm not too concerned about it because next turn we're dropping new gate hopefully we can find another new gate uh hopefully we can find maybe the gear five luffy uh any of it actually works really well for us but let's just go ahead and use this get up to seven and we're going to get in there again so if he has ice age and some form of removal our kid's not long for this world but we just have to hope that he doesn't have the Ice Age, you know, that's kind of <laughs> what we're hoping for here. But if he wastes it on the kid, that means it's going to be harder for him to get rid of Newgate, which Newgate's what we really want to stick. Kid gets us that buff every turn, which is nice, but Newgate uh, gets us that 10k body as well that can also deal with Man Cherries and uh, Rebecca's if they don't have their Sabo online. So hoping that we can just stick that Newgate next turn and we'll be off to the races. He is on 7 Dawn here, so like I said, if he has the removal, he will be able to get rid of this kid. I don't see it being too hard for him, honestly. Uh, if he has Rebecca into Hina, uh, he has Tashiki, but that's not really going to do anything for him right here. Um, I mean, it's definitely going to be something for us to have to deal with eventually, but right now it's not much of a problem. And with 3 Dawn, I do not see him getting rid of this kid, so... Not really too worried about it. He can really only get one attack in on us now anyway because our leader is 7k. He's got three Dawn left. Um, I guess if he 
I don't even know. I don't think there's another way. Like, I was going to say Hound Blaze is the Nami. He could boost something up. But uh, if he does that, he's only left with one Dawn then. And, I mean, he's still only getting one attack in. So it doesn't really matter what he does here. Uh, I do think that the three Dawn to leader is the best play. However, that's why we play the 2Ks, man. We're going to get rid of that Usohachi. Uh, I would like to hold the Frenosuke just in case we need that rush. Uh, we never really do. I never really play it. It's usually just there for uh, the counter. But if we ever have to, we have an extra rush card. So that's nice. Uh, and we are going to just ramp here. We're just going to big old new gate. We are going to swing into this Tashigi, actually, because that's going to be a problem for us. Uh, I'm going to make him either get rid of that Tashigi or that Rebecca or that Borsalino or both. So, um, yeah, we're just going to do it again, honestly. Like, I could go for life here, but um, I want him to either get rid of this Tashigi, this Borsalino, or a lot of cards out of hand. So, I'm fine with both of those. The Shigi on field is going to give minus two to our stuff, which is fine. If he has the other way, to, like if he goes minus two here and then he has a Mihawk in hand, he can get rid of our new gate, but that's his whole turn. He's not hitting us. He's not hitting our kid. Feels really good. This deck just, they have to spend so much to remove our big bodies and they do so much for us too by making our leader so big. By the time they've removed one, they have no plays left that turn. And if we have another one, I mean, it's just really good. There's the great eruption. I could imagine the Tashigi to minus it again. Put me down to a five on it. Um, 3K worlds, maybe? Like, don't really know what else to expect with it. But next turn, we're definitely... If we don't see another new gate off the top, we're definitely getting in there with that Rush Luffy. <clears throat> yep, there's the minus four total. So he's a five now. And uh, I could see him attacking, giving minus one, and then dropping... Borsalino, but I, I mean, if he's attacking, he's just going to attack and got no, get no damage in. So, like I said, this deck just puts you in a really good position against Sakazuki. 3k worlds is totally fine, too. He's got four Dawn left. I mean, we're at 9k. He has to put everything on there just to swing at us, and our Basil Hawkins is going to come in clutch here as that 1k that we don't need. <laughs> and we don't even have to use it. I do wish we still had the Newgate because we can just run over Rebecca with Newgate, but, uh, if we're really as good as we think we are, we'll draw another off the top here. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on, Newgate off the top. He takes the Luchi, so I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to have extra removal next turn for us. Uh, puts the sewer on field. Kind of strange to me. Uh, attacks for five just to minus kid again. What? I don't even know what he's doing. Um, seems like he's trying to figure this deck out a little bit or learn it a little better. Uh, so this is interesting. We don't have a great play other than Rush Luffy here. And uh, I can't, I do want to get that Tashigi off the field. So I think we're just going to do that. We're going to go Rush Luffy, uh, two under it, go into Tashigi to get that off the field. Then we're going to swing and swing and hope for the best. So let's do that. Get rid of that Tashigi. And he's going real low in cards right now. So I'm totally fine with spending a rush luffy to get rid of tashigi i mean if he wants to give me three cards out of hand so be it but i really don't see him doing that suru is not a problem for us i do not care about suru um yeah let's just go in here like this use the card action he takes it uh we don't have a rad beam or anything in hand but our couple counters we have should be up enough to save us so let's just go in um real big here make him get rid of that rebecca or take that life card rebecca is fine with me so i imagine here he's going to try to spend his turn removing both of these from the field if not one then the other so we'll see what he does but <clears throat> he's been trashing rob lucci's all game he's got two in the trash now um I believe he also trashed a man cherry at the beginning which is yeah that messed him up man cherry is very hard for us to deal with um if he's got consistent sabo and rebecca access we don't have our luffy we don't have a john bay or something like that it can be very hard for us to deal with man cherry um if he has the sabo in rotation then i can't just newgate pop it which sucks um but i mean here he's going 8k into us we are going to counter with that 1k that we have and we are getting low on cards. Hopefully, we get to see a big bomb next turn. Uh, he's going to blow both of these up. Not really too worried about it. 
But a big bomb next turn would really do us some, some good. That's what we really want to see here. And if we don't see one, I imagine we're just going to go disaster to try and draw into another good counter or another good card. But we haven't taken a life this whole game. Our kid has still been online the entire time. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. He's dropping a brand new, probably gonna grab a 2K or another piece of reduction. Ice Age, that's terrifying. So uh, hopefully we do draw another big body. We didn't, but that's honestly okay. Um, yeah, let's just draw and ramp. Get another 2K in our hand, we'll take it. And uh, I'm just gonna put him on, uh, let's see, if I go, like this that'll be 11 7 11 and 10 let's do 10 and 11 actually no i can do 11 and 11. so we'll go like this minus we got seven we'll ramp back and we'll go 8 9 10 11. and then next turn uh it really doesn't matter what he has we're gonna put everything on luffy and attack with john bay so uh, it'll be like a 15k swing has to counter his whole hand and if he doesn't have it then he loses so uh, we're also 7k so we got three 2ks i mean we're sitting pretty i'm gonna be surprised if we take a life this game like we might win this game without even taking one now i will say this guy hasn't been what i uh, would consider the best sakazuki player i've ever played against it seems like he's had a lot of the good tools that he's needed, but he's just made some interesting plays, in my opinion. But, um, I mean, even someone that doesn't know how to play the deck very well, this deck is very strong. Uh, puts up a lot of blockers, a lot of power, a lot of removal, stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, I'm still getting to show you what this deck can do against Sakazuki. Like I said, it's very hard for him to hit us. Uh, he's going to go 7 at us. That's not going to cut it, man. Give him the 2k. And then I imagine he's going to Hound Blaze here. Buff his brand new or something like that. Yep. Buff the brand new. And then hit for another 7. Rebecca, it's not even going to matter, man. Like, I've got the I've got the John Bay. It doesn't even matter. Takes the Borsalino back. Does he play something else from hand? He plays another brand new. So he does get another search here, but uh, I'm putting him on. He has to have like all 2Ks to defend this hit. So we'll see if he does it. And we are going to give him that other Uso Hachi. And if I draw gear five here, uh, honestly, it'd be the best way to show you what this deck really does. But uh, we didn't. So uh, like I said, I'm putting him on. He better have all 2Ks. So... We'll see what he's got. I know he's got a Borsalino in hand, so that's 1K. But um, 15 to the dome. Like, he's got to have every card in his hand other than that Borsalino at 2K. And I don't believe he has that. I mean, if he does, then he's crazy. <laughs> Let's see. 1K. Yeah. Whole bunch of nothing. So... That's what this deck can do against Sakazuki. Like I said, uh, I don't believe this guy was playing super optimally, but he was still making decent plays. You know, uh, I think that Sakazuki takes a little bit more skill than people say to pilot. However, I do think that um, even if you're lacking, you haven't tested too much, you can still do very good with the deck. So I do think this was a good showing for Red Purple Luffy. And uh, how about we try and hop into a game with a now? Right now we are queued up trying to find a game with a Nell and uh, having a little trouble trying to find one, but uh, hopefully we'll find one soon. In the meantime, I did want to shout out Dueling Guard. If you haven't heard of Dueling Guard, they're the best TCG accessory company on the market. They make high quality TCG accessories such as deck boxes, binders, and play mats. And they are the best quality you'll ever find out there. The designs are beautiful. And if you're not using one, you're really missing out. Right now they have their three captains collection available up on their site, as well as some other new collections, including solo leveling, a Yu Yu Hakusho binder, and a new Berserk collection. And if you haven't checked any of that out, make sure to go use the link in the description and use code GUMGUMTCG to get a discount at checkout. What? You haven't heard of Dueling Guard? Dueling Guard is the best TCG accessory company on the market. 
They have high quality deck boxes, binders, and play mats made for people who enjoy playing and collecting trading card games in style. They have tons of designs based off of fan favorite anime such as One Piece, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, and many more. They hit the ground running earlier this year making high quality TCG accessories with beautiful designs that have sold out many times, so if you haven't picked up any of their products, make sure to do so before they sell out again. I have a few deck boxes and playmats from them already and can attest to how they don't cut any corners when it comes to quality, performance, and design. I highly recommend their products and use them every time I play cards. Be sure to check the description below for a link to their site and use code GUMGUMTCG for a discount at checkout. Alright y'all, and we finally found an NL game. Uh, took me quite a while, but we did win the dice roll here and we're going to get to choose to go second. Uh, this hand is not very optimal, honestly. We do have our kids, we do have a Rush Luffy, which is good against their Rush NL. However, this is not what we want to see, so hopefully this mulligan is going to give us something better. Uh, it's not awful, but it's definitely not great. So the matchup with the Nell is definitely a little tougher than the matchup with Sakazuki, in my opinion. You know, they're just so hard to kill. And with us putting these big bodies on field, we need to see multiples of them. And next turn, I know he's coming at me for 8K and we're probably going to end up having to take it. We don't have a play this turn, no Nami, which kind of sucks. We do love to see Nami on turn one, but, um, also hoping we draw a disaster because disaster is really uh, better than Hawkins. However, Hawkins does get us that guaranteed ramp as well. Disaster just gets us that draw too. And I do like getting that draw, being able to have just a little bit more counter in hand or something else that can help us out. However, like I said, we do have our big bodies in hand. So if we can at least live to a uh, turn that we drop Newgate, I don't know what's happening here. But if we can at least live to the turn that we draw a Newgate, uh, or we drop Newgate, not draw him. We have already drawn him. If we can live to the turn we draw new, drop Newgate. Damn, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, we will be fine because we will get to drop two Newgates in a row. We will have the kid on field. Elameo, he attacked for five instead of for six like he should have. I don't know why he put the beige on field. Maybe to keep there, try to stack it with the Katakuri later, which is kind of, kind of spicy, honestly. I've done that in Queen before, but... Like I said, we don't have a play other than play Basil Hawkins to ramp and uh, to hit for six. So we'll see if he takes it. I'm sure he will. They love to take these life early and hit the triggers. I want to get him down to uh, three or two life just so that he uh, is out of Yamato threshold, but still low enough that once we get our big guys on field, we can get cooking. So pass it back to him and... Um, Unfortunately, the gear five skip turn skip that we do on him does make his leader effect live again. So we have to get him down to zero before we do the skip if we do end up doing it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, our worst nightmare is if they get Amaru last life trigger. I've had that happen to me before and they just get two life back. It's absolutely crazy and it puts you in just such a losing position really fast. So uh, he's got the ohm into maybe a holy. Let's see if he's got the holy too. If he finds it or if he's just good he's got it already and he finds one doesn't find one does he have one i don't think he has one either if he has one it probably just he'd already slam it down because that gets him a lot of advantage don't believe he has it uh, we will get to go kid next turn which is going to be very good for us uh, 6k at us. We really don't want to take this, but I really also don't want to drop the Nami. I think I am going to take it though, just because we are low on counter. I am going to take this and usually I don't do that, but hey, I will use that and that's going to put us at eight dawn next turn. So we can ramp to nine. We can go ahead and drop the new gate, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and ramp and drop new gate. That's actually broken. But I'm wondering if we just drop the kid instead. Drop the kid. Swing for eight. And get a Nami search. I think that's a better play. And then we just use the new gates next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Ramp. Little drop kid. We'll use card action. Get up to seven. Then we'll go to... Uh, actually, I kind of want to just stick at seven. Let's see what our Nami search holds for us. 
Nothing amazing, honestly. I think I'm just going to take Brook. Jet Gatling's good, but I'm going to take the Brook for now. And, uh, yeah, we will go in for eight here. Hopefully, no trigger out of life. Please, no trigger. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm praying for. Maybe he'll counter, even. That'd be nice. Nope, takes it, and he does have a trigger. Let's see if he uses it. Um... Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. That did put his ohm online to 6k. But we are at 7, so he still has to use an extra dawn if he wants to hit. And he has to put 2 on his leader, so that's 3 dawn already. And he's going to be at 7. Like It, it kind of limits his options if he wants to get in on me for a good hit. Alright, so we did hit an Amaru, but he trashed 2 to use it. A Sanji and an, a Yamato, which is fine with me, honestly. Putting him back at 3. Leaves his... Uh, ohm offline at 6k so like i said if he's got seven here he's either gonna drop big mom to make me use the choice to give him a life or take one um and that really hurts might have to take one because i do not want to put him back at four with all the triggers in his deck oh another ohm see if he finds the holy this time No holy this time. Did he draw it, perhaps? Has he drawn it? Is he that good? Um, and the next turn, I don't even know if I'm going to attack with the kid. Just so I can't put it in a position for him to attack it. Uh, I might. I might, honestly. We do have a couple counters. Um, yeah. He's thinking here. Three dawn left. Does he just go for me? Because our leader is going to be 9k next turn. So it's going to be hard for him to get a hit in on us. But he could definitely just go after the kid. So that's kind of what I'm scared of if we do attack with kid. But our leader would only be at eight if we drop the new gate. Don't attack with the kid. No, you're not getting that hit in. I got the I got the brook for you, bro. All right, Jet Gatling's not bad here actually. I I don't mind it. We are at ten. Yeah, I mean we just go Edward Newgate, and then let's go. Uh, I'm gonna put him on. You better have Yamato. Hopefully he also won't hit any triggers here if he does hit anything. Of course, he always, always, Anel always hits triggers. That's one reason I really don't like the yellow color. Uh, I am a queen player, but I feel that queen's a little more strategic, and the rest of the yellow decks are kind of just very luck-based. You know, if you hit the triggers, uh, they were usually just randomly placed there. But, man, they can be devastating sometimes, and it really hurts. Um, if we do get him down to one life here... Uh, I do expect him to already have a Yamato, so I don't even know if I want to attack with lead now that I think about it. Because if he does have the Yamato here, he will get to heal back up to two, and he could possibly hit another trigger. Um, I'm going to ramp back up. Yeah, I say let's do it just, just to see. Because he did pitch a Yamato early. To activate that Amaru, so I imagine he has another one, but he could be wrong. And another trigger. Doesn't use it though, so I'm wondering if it's something like beige. That's my thought, is it's beige, maybe a thunderbolt, something like that. Uh, no more plays, we'll pass. And we're putting them on this kind of like a clock here, you know, like next turn we drop another new gate. We're going to be 9k again, which is really big for us. Um, if he puts some of these bodies sideways, we're going to go after those instead of life. But um, yeah, I mean, if we have double new gate kid and our leaders going to be what seven from the kid that turn and then we turn skip him too, like we should win. Okay, now this is interesting, because if I just take it here, I just take the hit, like, 
he still he can't even hit me with any of his dudes so as much as i don't want to do it i think i am just gonna trash um i don't know no we're gonna give him the one because we're not killing him next turn so we gotta play defensive still He still has the two Dawn active. So I'm wondering if he's got another Shura or if he keeps them for um, maybe uses a Thunder, uh, a Maru or if he's got a Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't see why those would be good here. Or if he's got um, El Thors he's holding possibly. Okay, he's gonna go eight into my nine. Not gonna cut it, brother. Um, all right, we drew Rush Luffy off the top, which is not exactly what we want here, but I am going to do some cleanup. I'm going to get rid of that Shura for sure. I'm not letting him, or the, the Ohm, I'm not letting him keep another one on the field. Or he can give me three cards out of his hand. I don't care. Neither one, but I'm not letting him keep another body. Yep, takes it. Um... Go ahead and go like this. Be big again. Um, let's go eight. I imagine he just takes it here, right? Because if he has the Yamato, it's just free value for him. And then I could go in with my Luffy. I kind of just want to hold it. Because if I attack him, he's just going to get the life back anyway. Yeah, not too worried about it. If he's got Yamato here, like, he gets to heal. Sure, that's fine. That's whatever. But uh, he's only left with one Dawn. I'm at 9k. The only way he can hit me is the one attack from Linlin, -Lin, which we can defend from. So next turn, I think we just try and go all in to kill. We've got two 2k attacks, an 8k, um, a 7k, and then we can turn skip and try for lethal. So I guess we'll just have to see if we can get him down to zero life with all that. It's going to be hard to do when he's got that many cards in hand. Russian L, that's actually not bad here, but uh, like I said, I mean, this is only going to get him two hits. Um, I think we do end up taking one of them, though. You know, we can defend against one of them. But I don't really want to do Gatling to pitch. I don't have to. We'll see what he does here. Oh, just the big Lin Lin swing. Oh, I do have to use my Gatling here. That kind of sucks. Or I could just take it. I think I just take, honestly. Rad Beam. That's not bad to hold. We'll hold that. And then... See if we can't kill him here, like... I mean, we've got some big hits coming at him. I'm not going to use kid effect. It would be nice, but I'm just not going to do it because if we do, we go back. We can't gear five and be on a good dawn curve next turn. So let's see if we can't just get um, that last life card gone and get him down to zero so we can turn skip from for game. Uh, beige out of life would be absolutely insane here. Amaru out of life would be crazy. Kind of might just lose us the game there, but I don't know. I feel like we have this in the bag. Gives me two 2Ks here. That's totally fine. I'll take them. Or he takes. Interesting. So he's going to get the restack. Like I said, if that was a Maru, it's kind of rough 
even a beige it's very rough there So he gets to use his leader. It wasn't a trigger. He was just thinking on what to pitch. He threw away a 1K Sanji, which, um, like I said, if this is a good trigger like Beige or like Amaru, it's going to be tough for us. Oh, he's thinking about something else. Something's happening. Oh, it was a trigger. Shirahoshi. Okay. Well, that's rather unfortunate. But getting rid of the Lin Lin for that is actually crazy. Should have just gotten rid of the Shura or the Beige. Yeah, because he's going to get to manipulate his hand and get all them 2Ks ready. <clears throat> However, um, I don't know. Let, let's just go for it. I think this is the turn that we have to push for Lethal. If we don't, we just lose. So we'll see what ends up happening here. If we can at least get that last life card off of him, we should just have game. There shouldn't be anything else to worry about. So that's kind of all we have to do. It's just the two, okay, the big one. Takes. And like, even if that was a crazy trigger, like beige or Amaru there, like Amaru really would have done us in. But if it was beige, we just turn skip and we, we get the kill in there. Let's go for 10, see him counter out of that. If he can, I'm sure he has it. I mean, he's got seven cards in hand. He's got to have a couple 2Ks and 1Ks. Or he doesn't. Wow. Interesting. Well, we were able to clean it up there. Like I said, if we were able to get to these big guys and just stick them, play super defensive, we were fine. And that's what we were able to do. You know, we, we uh, played very conservatively with our life and uh, tried to just poke at him a couple times not trying to hit him too much didn't want to get down to that yamato threshold very often if at all and um yeah we were able to take the dub on that one how about we try and queue up with purple luffy next and see if we can't take that dub because i think that that is the hardest matchup for this deck because of one card magellan all right here we are purple luffy like i said this is our toughest matchup if they see magellan and this hand is not optimal he's also going second so i'm kind of not digging what we have here you know we have triple ramp cards i'm gonna try and find something different and i might regret it um actually this is pretty good we do get our nami search so we're gonna get to find something here um i kind of just want another 2k because this deck is very fast and aggressive so i want to take another for no uh that sucks we did see a new gate just go to the bottom there but uh, not too worried about it, honestly. Uh, we just have to be fast and aggressive back because they don't have a turn one play. So uh, finding Newgate off the top there is pretty damn good, but we got to start getting some cards out of their hand or cards out of their life so that they can't use too many of that leader effect. So give them that. And then we'll give them the six. Probably takes it. Nope, counters. Totally fine. Totally fine. Just want to get some of the cards out of his hand because he just gets that advantage back. I mean, both them cards he threw away there. Yep. See, there it is. The Magellan. Exactly what we're terrified of with this deck. And uh, if he has a second one, it's definitely going to be very hard for us to come back from this. We do have our Hawkins here, so we are going to get to ramp. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll hit in for five. If he has a second one, <clears throat> we might be done for. But hopefully we can see a kid off the top deck here. That'd be really nice. He's already at seven dawn here though. Polly put him at eight. Like, <clears throat> like I said, this deck, this matchup is just really tough for us. Uh, we are going to defend these hits though. You know, uh, we, we kind of have to. That's really not what we wanted to see off the top deck there. But uh, I think we just go in for more big damage. 
And then we drop this and use our leader. That's two 7K swings. Just trying to get some extra cards out of his hand at least. But uh, the other problem with Purple Luffy is they play a ton of 6K bodies, which is just so hard for us to defend against when, I mean, they, they just get to use so much push with those bodies and they don't have to put any Dawn on it. However, we have gotten him into the scenario where he will be at 10 Dawn next turn. He won't need to use this, but uh, might be hard for him to recover from this point. So we'll see. He's got a lot of cards in hand though. He's going to take that Rush Luffy out. That's fine by me because now your Kaido has no target if you use it. Uh, Blocker Kid, another Magellan. God, that hurts. But we hit six, so we get our leader effect anyway. Um, six at us, and he's going to be swinging another six at us. Uh, we'll take the first one. Ooh, that's really good. Triggered to draw. And then no blocker. We get to get that Hawkins out of here. Now we're at nine. That's really good. Uh, Newgate goes crazy here, but gear five also goes crazy here. If we had the Jambe, uh, we also have to use our leader effect to ramp to get to that too, which kind of sucks. I think we're just going to Newgate. And um, go in. What am I? Eight? Yeah. At least get that kid out the way or get two, three cards out of his hand. Uh, we could be pretty dead next turn, though. It depends on what he does. Got that last life card. I'm feeling good about that. We got the one active in case we draw the rad beam from life. So we'll see what happens. That's why I left that up instead of going for nine there. Just in case we do see the rad beam out of life. Feels pretty good. Another kid. He's walling up. He's probably going to disperse his dawn to try and get some more hits in here. But being 8k, he's only going to be able to get one hit in here unless he attacks. Or actually, two hits in here. So... Like I said, that double Magellan is killer against us. And just the 6K, I mean, every guy on his field, if we're not buffed, they can just hit us, which is not what most decks are able to do. So very tough. Uh, another blocker. Okay. So he's he's just walling up. If we draw Jambe, like cooking, actually cooked. Come on, Jambe off the top. It's just that easy. Come on. Ah, no John Bay, but I do think we have to make the push for lethal here. So we're going to go with Newgate. We're going to go with leader. We're going to go gear five and pray to draw John Bay off the top. I mean, it's kind of what we have to do here. So let's go in for 10. Let's see what he does. Just blocks with the queen. Okay. Let's go in for six. Probably just gives us the 2k. And like I said, if we draw John Bay off the top here, I mean, they're kind of just playing very risky and hopeful, but we're dead next turn if we don't. So, like, this is kind of what we have to do and just pray that we draw it. It's not that easy every time. So, <laughs> unfortunately, this, is, this might be our downfall. Uh, we do get to ramp back again. Um, we got a couple cards in hand. We could be alive if we get the right triggers or we get the right cards out of life i think i am going to hold one just in case we do see a rad beam um yeah let's go in nine at lead get rid of a blocker or some cards in hand a gatling and a 2k and we're going to get rid of one of his blockers here damn that's crazy. If we had John Bay, he's actually dead. Actually was cooked. Uh, like I said, might be a tough one. Don't know if we can pull it out, but we'll try. Uh, Kaido here would also go crazy. I don't know, because I got one, two, three counters for a couple of his attacks. Eight at us. We'll give him that Gatling. Better be playing that five, that six drop rush Luffy, man. That's all I'm going to tell you. Let's go. Uh, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. Seven. 
Seven, just seven, two. Maybe another blocker. Yep, another blocker. Uh, Nami, if we ever needed you more than now, this is what it is. And God, she does not give us what we need. That's actually terrifying. Uh, we can't even add anything here, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, even our Fernosuke is offline. If we had the 8 Dawn, we, we would be able to use it. Actually, we do have the 8 Dawn. We do have the 8 Dawn. Fernosuke for the, for the W? I don't know. If he's got the 2Ks in hand, it's kind of just over. Um, I don't know. Very risky. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to play risky. As Luffy said, uh, if you do not take a risk, you cannot have a future. So, give them last two cards, please. What you got, man? He's thinking. Blocks it. Well, let's see if he's got one counter. Wow! Wow! For Nosuke for the win. That's actually crazy. Like I said, if you don't take a risk, you cannot have a future. Um, I hope that these games have shown you that this deck is actually very capable of beating the meta, even against some of their worst matchups like uh, Double Magellan and even two more in hand. Like we played through Double Magellan going back minus two Dawn, uh, only got to stick one new gate on the field. Like this deck is really powerful, really slept on. And I think if you play it right, you defend right, and you see the right cards, I mean, it'll take you to the victory. Let's take one more look at this deck list. All right. And... This is the final look. Like I said, very defensive 2K build. If you haven't checked out my video from Monday, definitely go to check that out. I'll have the link above me as well in the description below. Um, we played two, I guess, one and a half games. The first game, the guy conceded. The second game was against Zoro, which is not a top meta threat. So I wanted to highlight what this deck can really do against those top meta threats. And uh, we were able to take those dubs pretty, pretty swiftly and cleanly, if I do say so myself. Like I said, Newgate's a powerhouse. Kid is a powerhouse. And then Turn Skip is absolutely insane if you don't have copies of this card i do recommend picking it up because i think that uh it just will be way better down the line right now it's just kind of struggling to have a great home i do think that this is the best home for it and if you pull it off right it get, it just catches them off guard gets you the dub every time but uh i i do foresee it being a lot better in the future being able to take advantage of rad beam after taking one life is absolutely crazy and then uh, just a lot of these other cards we're playing are really, really strong. And for Nosuke, pulling out the dub at the end there is actually the highlight of my matches for the day. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this deck list, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what your deck list looks like. Jump into my Discord channel if you're not in there already. I have a link to that in the description below. Share me your deck list. Let me know your thoughts and what you're playing right now with Red Purple Luffy. And uh, make sure to go check out Dueling Guard. Use code GUMGUMTCG for a discount at checkout. And... I'll see y'all on the next one. If you don't take a risk, you can't have a future. Peace.